a tough assignment against the league leaders this afternoon. How do you think your men fared against Ebbsfleet? Very well. I thought man in the middle's cost us the game. Simple as that. We, I was just chatting to the assessor, a very nice guy actually, Mike. Really, really good. First time I've had anyone come down and talk to me. Um, we start really well in the game. First five minutes, we're dominating the ball. We're dictating how we want to play. Um, unfortunately, we make a mistake, which is a costly mistake, and they go and score. It's the last thing you want to do if you come to the league leaders. Um, but we don't blame any individual on that. It was just one of those moments. And one thing we want to do was quiet down the crowd, and that got the crowd up a little bit. But I've got to say, the boys stuck out of then. Then we score a legitimate goal. Even the assessor saying to me there doesn't think it's offside. Um, so it's a quick throw down the side here, and we go and score. That's disallowed. Um, and the massive turning point is, well, before that, the first half, of course, you come under moments of pressure, good side, good players. Um, but we stayed in the game, we just stay in the game, we stay in the game. And it wasn't through just defending, we stay in the game through some good play. Um, and then, obviously, the massive decision then is when Cody goes through and equalises because it's nothing but a legitimate goal. I'm absolutely baffled by it. I mean, he's gone through, it's, we've played forward early. The defender's now falling over because he's panicking, a ball's been put in behind him. Cody's gone above him, won the header, scores because the keeper's coming out, legitimate goal. Everyone knows it's a goal, no one's complaining. Then the referee takes a moment and decides that it's a foul. And it's farcical, absolutely farcical, because that changes the whole game. It won all, the game is completely different, the crowd start to go. We gain some control back in the game, we can sit and then catch them on counter-attacks. Um, and then the second one, of course, people are talking about, well, Cody goes down as a head injury and he plays, he doesn't stop the game, I don't know. I mean, listen, that, that's one that's always a contentious one. We had one at Welling, didn't we, as well? I remember with Jack Batten, I think it was, wasn't it? It's always a, it's always a funny one, that Cody goes down, all right, it's, it's not a foul, they just clash heads and he's down on the floor and I don't think the referee sees it. The referee hasn't seen a lot. He's booked Danny, Danny Greenslade here first a second and a half early when he's looking the opposite way. It's because the bench has gone up that he's decided to book him with a yellow card. So, listen, what I'm doing now, I'm talking about an official who's affected the game. It's not sour grapes one bit because it's a very good side. I can see why they're at the top of the league. I was chatting to Dennis before and saying about how much strength he's got in depth, how his style never changes, not to be affected by the players or individuals that are playing in the team, just to focus on the shape. For us to show, focus on the shape and how we can counteract it and how we can be effective. But the game changes. If, if it's one all, the game changes. And even the one first half, like I said, we need to look at it again. But the assessor has wrote in his book and he thinks it wasn't offside. So you've had two stroke three key decisions go against you at the league leaders. You can't afford that. Got one back in the end for you, Dan Hayfield. And he persisted with your way of playing like Ebsley, on the floor, patient, attacking, sometimes difficult to break down. I thought the style on the play was decent from Barcelona. Very good, today. that's what we're about. We're not going to change now. We're not going to change the way we are. It was a good goal, really good, incisive, forward runs, forward passes, ends up at Dan's feet, slots it away, brilliant. Um, the game's at 2 1. And then you can feel the crowd edgy again. We're getting on the front foot, aren't we, after that, for about two or three minutes. Um, at some point we have to roll the dice because we're still losing the game um, and we go we go we chuck on the attacking players because there's no good losing the game 2-1 you've got to try and get back in the game if you can but a lot of things transpired against us here today mark it's a very good performance it's not it's not a performance that deserves a 3-1 against um, like i said they're a good side and i'm not i'm not taking any away from dennis's team at all and his players i've got the utmost respect for him i like the way they do things Obviously, they have the luxury of coaching every day. I'd love to be coaching every day. You can see that they do. Um, but I've got a group there that were very close to a team that are probably going to run away and win the league by the looks of it. We don't know. We've got our own targets. This won't affect us. Today's not going to win or lose, lose us the league. It sets the bar of where we are. We understand the mistakes we make in the game. But like I said, when the game's cost, and, and, and more to the point, I've said to the assessor, if you've got an official saying to, to your, my players, you're getting a run around, that, that has got to stop. That sort of stuff has got to stop. I'm not having an official. I get booked and he comes across and he's smiling at me as he books me. This, isn't, this is one way, this. this. This can't be allowed. And my players are really upset about that because they're trying to work hard in a game of football and you've got a referee in their ear saying you're getting a run around. That, that will go in the report for sure. Um, and not acceptable, not acceptable at all. And he lost, he just lost his way in the game. Um, listen, going back to it, I, you can tell I'm frustrated, I'm really angry with it. I'm really angry for my players because we've had a right go in the game. And people go, oh, Bath have lost 3-1 away at the league leaders and blah, blah. It wasn't that, it was, a, it was a tight old game. It was a good game, very tactical, like you said, Mark. Two good sides that want to play football the right way. Two good sides going at it. It's committed, there's tackles, there's flying in. 
probably those yellows being given when they shouldn't be. I have to say our official at Farm Blood, I'd love to have had her today. I thought she was brilliant. Let tackles go in. What do you think you're going to get in a top of the table clash? It's going to be committed. Players are going to be flying in, players are going to be tackles. She would have managed this game brilliantly. And I thought he lost his way and it was about him in the end making stupid calls that he didn't need to make. And the one that I'll go back to is the one where Cody scores a legitimate goal to make it 1-1 and we're in the game. I feel like a similar level of performance effort next week against Chelmsford City who suffered their first defeat of the season today will we'll make bounce back from, from this first defeat since the opening day. Absolutely Mark, listen the, the performance level's right there. This is, we knew today, I knew coming here today wouldn't define our season. What we wanted to do was win the game. I come here to win the game and it wasn't being disrespectful, we went gun ho out, we had to sit in at times, we had to balance the play whether we were going to play forwards. We scored the goal from playing forwards and the, uh, the goal that got disallowed from playing forwards, we've got to pick that a little bit better. We felt first half maybe at times we didn't quite get enough triggers to get on the ball even though we did play really well. There was still some incision I wanted from us where I thought we could come off the shape a little bit maybe and slide the ball forwards, get our full backs up nice and high. But these are little details that we're going to work on, you know, we're only in game seven. And um, in a really good place, this is a good Bath City team, Mark, this. I've come away from games like this before and I thought, well, last year really, mm. even though we, won, we, we were in the game, we had chances. In all honesty, it was, we were lucky to come away with what we got because it was constant pressure. But we're close, we're not far away from this at the moment. And um, really proud of the boys, the work, the ethic, the, the togetherness is still there. Won't change anything like that. Um, it's just bitter that I'm talking about an official tonight and hopefully he looks back, but I don't know. I'll get a call off Mike. Like I said, the assessor was really fair, I thought. Come and saw me, took all the information on board. Hopefully it gets fed back. And um, yeah, I, I just hope we don't get him again. Well, commiserations and best of luck for next Saturday. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. Mark.